Hi guys and welcome back to a new episode of Meal Prep and Motherhood. Today we're going to work on some breakfast, some lunch, some meal prep for my husband's lunches, and some dinners. Just getting back to that routine of how happy we were when everything was meal prepped. <laughs> J. Um, she's on Instagram. I'll post it down below of like where to find that um, recipe and stuff. You can comment recipe and she'll send you the full one. Um, and I just I use the protein powder in it just to get that extra little jolt of protein. Um, so it's a little different than like, you know, overnight oats. I've, I've tried overnight oats a lot and I've really struggled. This one was amazing. Um, I was really impressed with this recipe and it tasted so good this morning for breakfast when I got up. Now, you will notice toward the end that I put them in like two small jars, <laughs> um, but that's okay. So next time I'll probably put them in like longer jars so that I can um, add the actual topping on top. But what I ended up doing was just making the topping separate and then just adding it the morning of, which worked out beautifully. Um, so right now, guys, we're sitting at about 31 weeks. Clearly, you can tell. <laughs> um, and then just in general, my meal prepping struggle is real. Um, it's not an easy thing to go and prep and prep and prep. Um, and I don't follow the recipe perfectly here because I, I realized these jars were like way too small. Um, so I used a fourth of a cup instead of a third of a cup of milk and um, coffee. So um, I just kind of struggled lately. I'm not going to say that like meal prepping when you're pregnant is super fun. Um, yes, I would love to just order out. It'd be so much you know easier. Um, but it doesn't make us feel good. It doesn't make me feel good. I, I want the food at home and I want to save money. Um, we have another baby coming to this world, so we need to be able to prep and be ready for that. Um, so next week, I probably will have um, a really big, good budget um, recipe haul and understanding of how we use our budget and how I cook with our budget. Um, I do a lot of making sure that we are buying things on sale, but it's also something like we just really focus on what we have. Um, last week I posted about the pantry and I'll link that down below. Um, we worked on our pan I worked on our pantry, got it organized in 30 minutes. Um, and then it kind of gave me an idea of what we had. So we have a lot of oats. Um, I knew that overnight oats would be something simple and easy I could grab out. Um, I'm finding that I can't really do the whole coffee while I'm an empty stomach right now. Um, and I need protein in the morning, like ASAP. I am starting to feel really sick. So you just you got to be ready for those ebbs and flows of pregnancy. Um, and if you're struggling with that nutrition stuff um, for pregnancy, please reach out. I'm not, you know, perfectly, um, you know, certified in that, but I do live it and I know it. Um, I am a certified um, nutritionist. I do have my precision nutrition certification, but I also just really know um, how to pay attention to your body. And that's really what I work on. Um, so if you are, you know, struggling with that, you need some support with that, just let me know. Also love making these in jars because you get to shake the jars and how cool is that? <laughs> so, um, clearly I had some dog help today too. <laughs> Don't you love them? Um, so now I'm looking for my yogurt, trying to use up what we have again. Um, these are all things that we just had. I had every single thing I needed for this. I had to make coffee, you know, but I had coffee too. So that's kind of the big thing that I've been really focusing on is like, what do we have in the house and what can we make? yummy, you know? Um, so these overnight oats were really, really good this morning. I just was really impressed with this recipe and I'll link that below again. Um, but the thing that I'm just reminding you is that protein helps start your day with protein and your body will feel so much better. Um, if you're not using the right amount of protein and you don't know what I'm talking about, please reach out. I'm here. So I want you to comment down below too. Like, do you have a favorite overnight oats? Cause I'm looking for some new ones. This tiramisu one was amazing, um, but I'm always looking for something new. Friends, I hope you enjoy these recipes and we have some more coming. And that was 
as a final product. It was so good. Um, I loved being able to kind of mix it together at the end and get that chia seed in there because, gosh, no, those chia seeds, mm, yum. So much dietary fiber in there, y'all. So much dietary, dietary fiber. Um, so next, I am really working through my crock pot. This crock pot uh, was my Christmas present from my in-laws, and I am more than grateful for it. It has saved me <laughs> time and time again this week and last week. So I'm in love with this crock pot. It is super simple crock pot. I will list it, list it down below. It is one of those ones you just have to turn on. Um, I do use my Amazon Alexa um, just to make sure that I'm using it appropriately for time. Um, just because I am home, it kind of helps that part of it. Um, sorry, and you can tell I was clearly doing this early morning. Um, so I really want you to focus in on what can you do easy. Um, this is why I just can't, I can't meal prep every meal and I can't make a meal every night right now. I just don't have the energy. I don't have the want. I don't care to do that. Um, we are really working on, you know, using what we have, but also doubling recipes or tripling recipes just to make sure that we are doing it the best way we know how. Um, this is the recipe that I end up using for my husband's <coughs> meal for all of his um, meal preps. Um, he really enjoys like taco meat and we are very taco <laughs> oriented uh, family. Uh, so we really like, like these meals. This was an easy one. I knew I had salsa. Um, I had found this ground beef at Aldi in like Aldi Hall from a few, day, a few days ago. Um, so I just wanted to make sure that I was using that ground beef. It's 93.7 so I did work on that. Um, it is one of those big things um, that I noticed helped us a lot is just finding things that are on sale and then using them as a you know like in the family pack kind of thing so I found that at Aldi it wasn't like the cheapest price in the entire world but for 93.7 beef it was doing really good for you know that so this recipe is also from Robin Conley Downs um, it is a crock pot taco casserole um, <laughs> and it's I don't follow the recipe always <laughs> As you know that seems to be my thing um, but so I did two um, of the 1.33 pounds so 2.66 pounds of 93.7 beef and then I added the salsa and then the different seasonings um, I did not follow the recipe for the seasonings I didn't like I didn't measure them out I kind of just did what I know worked best for me um, and then this was really cool because I didn't know you could cook ground beef in a crock pot so I put this in there and then left the top on do not take the top off it said but I did end up doing that a little bit and I used my Dollar Tree um, masher so I mashed it all up threw all that in it really helped I think that it wasn't um, frozen so that was really nice and then I threw the top on and let it cook for four hours like super simple super easy um, I was really impressed with the fact that you can cook ground beef like this so and you could also do this at Instapot I'm sure and actually cook the ground beef but I just was feeling a little bit of laziness so I had set my Alexa to let me know um, in four hours to check it um, and I just mashed it all up and put that top on and just let it be what an easy way to make food and I'll post that recipe down below too um, again you know meal prep we're just looking for easy right now that's what's working best She says you could use red or green, but I use green because my husband really likes the green and we haven't used it in a while. Um, I also had these old El Paso um, taco shells. So I was like, well, might as well use these up. So that's the other reason like I was doing this is because I found these when we were cleaning our pantry and they hadn't been open. So got to use those up. Um, I added cheese and a can of black beans just for the extra added fiber. Of course, adding fiber really, really helps. Um, 
you know, really get all that you need from that protein in the beef. So this was just such an easy recipe and I'm really impressed with it. Um, there's everything all mixed up and then I stirred it really slowly. Um, next time I will put more chips. Um, I just kind of left it open so that we could add more chips at the end because the chips just like completely cooked down. Um, but I also let it cook a little bit longer than I needed to because I started it way earlier than I probably should have, but it is what it is. So put it on high for 30 minutes and then let it cook. And I made some rice while we were doing that. Um, had that finished up, ready to go. And then I proceeded to work on prepping. So here's the deal. While you're prepping one thing, prep something else. So like the other day I posted a video, like just a reminder that you can, you know, heat up bagels for your breakfast in the toaster and into the dishwasher at the same time. Um, your coffee maker probably takes about as long as your unloading the dishwasher takes, or at least for me it does. Um, so I cut up some lettuce, I cut up some um, <laughs> different things while I was waiting for that. I knew I was going to need the lettuce because I knew I was going to make some salads later, and I knew that my husband was going to need salads for the week. Um, I've also been craving chicken tender salads, so I made those two for the week. Um, I got my peppers out because they've been sitting in there. Um, they actually lasted a long time. And the other thing is, is romaine lettuce lasts forever in the fridge. So I have two fridges and I buy two packs of romaine lettuce when I go to the store. Also grabbed out this bag. This bag to the right um, is just a bag of randomness. It is the excess. So it's all the crap that you would normally put in the trash. Um, I took it all and I put it all in a bag. And then I will make vegetable stock next week or this week um, in the crock pot, probably 12, 24 hours. Um, just let it cook and cook and cook. Um, it's just such a nice way to use everything um, and to not waste. So I cut these peppers up. These were really good just to eat, um, but they're also really good because now I can throw them in one of our salads. I could throw them into um, the oven and kind of roast them a little bit and add them into our tacos. Um, so just having vegetables there that are already cut, ready to go is really helpful. Also, if these start to kind of get dicey and like kind of looking like a little rough, what I'm going to do is cut them and then throw them in the freezer in a plastic bag. So you just have to be aware of what you have and like what is going bad in your free fridge or freezer. So just don't, don't waste food. I know that sounds crazy. Um, it's way easier <laughs> to say it than do it. But as I notice things start to go bad, I just make sure I'm well aware of like what's next. And I try to kind of keep our um, refrigerator kind of moving, kind of fluid, um, so that nothing kind of sits in the back or whatever. Um, so I cut up all these peppers and I, you know, put them all in and then I actually threw them in my son's lunch today. So they were already there. Um, the other day I was kind of hungry, so I just grabbed them and dipped them in some ranch. Um, the other thing, you can take some ranch seasoning with some Greek yogurt, dip that in there. One of my clients did that this week and she was like, this is actually really, really yummy. So just think about ways that you can use these vegetables um, just throughout the week. Um, and what I'll do with these is I'll dice them up probably and throw them in the freezer and then I'll add them to breakfast casserole or um, leave them like that and make fajitas. We do have shrimp um, left over, in the, shrimp in the freezer so I could throw that together and make fajitas really quick. Um, just you know, you got to think through what you have and then go through that. And I really do want to do a really nice long video on like why and how I do that. And I'll work on that for next week. I think that's really important, um, especially when it comes to saving money. So we'll be working on that. So just cutting all these up and getting them prepped, putting them in the plastic containers, making that pretty colors. Um, you know, sometimes it's just nice to have some color in your food and especially when it's all dark and dreary. Um, you can also throw these in. I have a thing of ground chicken um, in the fridge right now, so I could throw this in and make um, a soup after I make my veggie um, broth and make like a taco soup. So just like trying to be prepped, trying to be ready to go. So just think about what you have and what will work best in what you need next.
So going along with that whole like don't waste things, I had that chicken left over. We never finished it from last week that I had cooked in the crock pot, threw that in a Ziploc bag and threw that in the freezer. Super simple, super easy. You know, it doesn't have to be, what you know, what am I going to use it for? What am I going to use it for? You like just write chicken on it, cooked chicken, and then you can throw it in a soup. You can throw it in a pasta. You could just let it out and defrost it and cut it up and put it, make chicken salad. Um, just be aware of what you have again and what's about to go bad. Just don't let it go to waste. It's easy enough to say, of course, but it's not hard just to throw it in the freezer. And then like when you just don't feel like going to the grocery store, you can do that. So I've gone to the grocery store. I went to Aldi and Sam's Club last week, posted those hauls. Those are all in there. Make sure you look at the description below. It'll be in there. And I just didn't want to go to the store. I didn't want to spend any more money. Um, and then my son had gotten a little sick and he was having this horrible cough. So we had went to Walmart to grab that. And then I had to run to Walmart and grab one other thing. And it's just, Sometimes you're just over it. You don't want to go to the store. You don't want to leave. So this is such a great way to use what you have. Um, so prepping the meat for my husband's lunches and I just prepped extra. So I prepped everything in a six ounce. Um, that's a little bit more than what I would normally eat. But right now, again, trying to eat what tastes good, what feels good. Um, and then I can always eat, give my son some of mine. So um, <laughs> Kids' protein needs are very different than you think they are. You know, you have to kind of work with what works best for you. I also had cooked some rice um, and just threw that in the Instapot with just white jasmine rice. And I had made some guacamole from scratch. Um, I should have a short on that. If I don't, I will work on that. Um, and guacamole is just easy. My, my son has been loving avocados. He's been asking for extra avocados lately. So I was like, all right, whatever. So I'll just do that real quick. So I guess the other thing I want you to focus on this week and think about is sometimes meal prep's going to look easy and sometimes it's going to be feel like it's just too much. This is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make it easy. I'm trying to get you to understand that you don't have to meal prep every single meal. Um, making two or three huge meals and then just using them throughout the week in different ways is a great way to do that. So my husband is going to have salads. These are his salads. I had cut that romaine lettuce before and um, the other day I just ended up cutting up the rest of it and keeping it ready to go. Threw some cheese in and then I put some salsa and ranch in there for, um, you know, some extra happiness. <laughs> um, and there's plenty of salsa in the actual meat, but it just kind of gives him something a little bit extra. So put all this together, threw it in, um, in these containers. So it was ready to go. And then I had made rice for dinner. Um, my husband and my child love rice. They've been asking for rice for a while. So I just made rice and then threw guacamole on top. I did throw some guacamole in my husband's meal prep lunches just to have them ready to go. So just a reminder that like sometimes, you know, meal prep's going to look like four hours on a Saturday or four, out, four hours on a Sunday and you're prepping all these meals and everything's already ready. Or sometimes it's like finding those little pockets of time. So I like to find the pockets of time that works better for my schedule and my, my brain. Um, I am still struggling with that. I'm still working through that. Um, before kids, you know, we would take four hours and meal prep every single meal. Um, and that's just not plausible with a kid and about to have another one. There's just not, it's not the easiest thing in the world. So using your crock pot, using those things that just you have already going around and just kind of making it all work. 
Um, you just kind of have to do what works best for your family and um, it is what it is. So my friends, I really do hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I have some more coming and I'm going to go through a lot of that meal prep next week. So please like, comment, subscribe. Tell me your favorite overnight oats recipe. Tell me your favorite recipes in the crock pot. Like I would love to hear some new ones because I am obsessed with finding new ones in the crock pot right now. It is literally the best thing in the entire world. Um, and the rest of this video, um, We'll have some more recipes coming up, so keep watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Bye.